I would like to start saying that it is a very important mechanism in collecting post-marketing concerns about side effects and mortality and serious side effects. However, um, in terms of the quality of the data, we need to be aware that from the scientific perspective, the quality of um, public reporting cannot uh, match a uh, quality of data on serious adverse events coming from randomized uh, clinical trials, carefully designed randomized clinical trials. The reason is that uh, these uh, public reporting, safety reporting um, uh, options and, and, and channels inherently will uh, have some biases. Um, recall bias, there could be a number of factors that you cannot evaluate and therefore in terms of causality or relatedness um, they, they are very difficult to, to, to evaluate and, and, and have, make sense of that data. So while this could be a, a valid method to point our attention to some systemic and recurring problems, they never will be as uh, important and high quality as data coming from a randomized clinical study. So I don't believe so. Um, establishing causality is a, probably the, one of the highest levels in terms of um, demand or, or, or requirement for quality of data. At this time, uh, we only have mortality in very small numbers. And in terms of relatedness, these, the specifics of these mortality cases are diverse. There is no recurring pattern. Um, these um, uh, specific causes of death in those reported um, serious adverse events and mortalities from the available clinical trials um, are, are causes that can occur in the elderly and in fact will occur in the placebo group as well. So in, er, in order to establish causality you will have to have a prospective um, larger and very high quality carefully designed uh, clinical trial. At the present, with the numbers that we have at hand and the kind of causes of death that we know, we cannot make a connection to um, the, uh, with regards to the causality, the cause and effect relationship with certainty. So the question how the um, mortality rate in uh, patients with Parkinson's disease related psychosis on pimavanserine um, relative to PDP patients on quetanapine and clozapine, uh, we don't have any um, prospective head-to-head -head comparisons in, in, in answering or, or asking that question. However, based on available information from previous studies, uh, at this time we do not have a reason to think that patients on pimavanserine would be exposed to a higher rate of mortality compared to these other antipsychotic alternatives. So that's two questions in one. So let me answer the first one. Um, as um, uh, in the pivotal trial, it has been very clear there was a statistically significant improvement of um, psychotic symptoms. So that was very clear. The size of this improvement was somewhat modest. However, I want to mention that there are patients within the group who had much greater improvement. So as a whole group, relative to placebo, there clearly was an improvement in uh, psychotic symptoms um, in the pimavanserin group. But within that whole group, there are patients who actually had their psychotic symptoms completely resolved. And there were some patients who had a really significant improvement um, in terms of their symptoms. Now, whether that improvement translates in any way 
uh, in improved mortality is an even more difficult question than establishing causality between exposure to pimavanserin and mortality. The answer is we don't know and the only way that we could establish such a connection we would need even greater, larger and very carefully designed randomized clinical trials. I certainly do think so, because I believe the distribution mechanism with a very direct connection with the patient and caregivers created a channel, an opportunity for them to report adversities in a much uh, easier and effective way than other drugs in their post-marketing phase. To that effect, we believe that about 90% of the post-marketing reported adversities were actually through those channels. So certainly the way that it is being distributed and the very close connection with patients and families, um, I believe contributed to a much higher reporting of adversities.